El Chapo Act does is real simple. It takes the money, the billions that El Chapo made, crossing the border illegally, and it takes that 14 billion and it uses it to pay for the wall. Let's talk about border security. We all know we have a 2,000 mile border with Mexico, our southern border. My home state of Texas has 1,200 of those miles. We right now have an incredible flow of human traffickers, of narcotics traffickers coming across the border, and it endangers our national security. It endangers people's lives. Now, how do you stop it? Well, the most natural thing to do is we need to build a wall. We need a barrier that stops the traffickers in their path. Now, as you know, Democrats are so opposed to a wall that they've been willing to shut the government down. And then their complaint is, they say, we don't have the money to spend on a wall. Now, set aside for a second. This is the first time in history. Think of every spending program that's ever been. It's the first time in history Democrats have ever said we didn't have the money to spend something. Set that aside. They say, in particular, we don't have the money to build a wall. Well, I thought about that and tried to say, all right, is there a solution? Is there a way to do it? And you know what? There is a way to build the wall without one penny of taxpayer dollars. And it's legislation I've introduced. It's calling the Ensuring Lawful Collection of Hidden Assets to Protect Order Act. Now, some of you, some of the more insightful and observant ones, may notice that those, those particular words are an acronym for the El Chapo Act. Now, what does the El Chapo Act do? Well, it says that we should take all of the money criminally forfeited from El Chapo and from other drug dealers and use it to pay for the wall. Now, where did this idea come from? Well, it came from actually press reports some time ago that said the total value of El Chapo's global criminal net worth was $14 billion. That's a whole lot of money. At the same time, I saw articles that said the cost to build a wall along the entire border was between 14 and $20 billion. Now, there's a natural and elegant symmetry there. What the El Chapo Act does is real simple. It takes the money, the billions that El Chapo made, crossing the border illegally, and it takes that $14 billion and it uses it to pay for the wall. And the end result is we have the wall and we have an essential element to secure the border. And critically, not one penny comes from the U.S. taxpayers. We ought to take this up. This is common sense legislation, but I'm going to make a predict prediction right now. The Democrats aren't even willing to spend El Chapo's money to build the wall because politically they don't want to secure the border. That's not reasonable. That's not listening to the American people. And it's not what we need to do. But this is an easy solution to solve the problem. This is a solution for you and your family. This is something guaranteed, like oxygen and water, to sustain life. There are a bunch of bad halogens. There is one good halogen in the body, and it's pure atomic iodine. Most forms are bound so you don't absorb them. But even microscopic amounts of the broken down type are better than nothing because your body recognizes it and takes it on and tries to use it instead of bromine, chloride, fluorine, and the other bad ones. And there's a lot of things better than just wealth in this world. How about physical wealth? When I forget to take my iodine, I'm an idiot. We have X2. It's selling out because a company tried to put me over the barrel from the oil well company that drills to get it to 12,000 feet. We ended up finding an even better company. Their chemist said, you can put this in the way you have it, but you should add a little bit of vitamin C to stabilize it so it doesn't oxidize, and this other form of iodine, and the other form, all three, so that it's better absorbable. That's X3. We have a limited supply of X2. It's our final run. But here are the headlines. How adding iodine to salt boosted American IQ. That's discovery.